let's look at bash chaining operators or and and these are used to chain commands together based on their exit statuses let's look at exit statuses the last command to run on this shell is the clear command and the exit status of the previous command is stored in an environment variable denoted by dollar question mark and we can see that clear has exited with a status of zero which means success whatever the command was supposed to do it did that successfully and that is denoted by the exit status zero now if we run the command false and check the exit status of the previous command that is false's exit status we can see that it is one which is non-zero which means failure so false is a command that just exits with a failure status uh, non-zero status let's look at another command grip and use it to search for a particular user the user does not exist on the system and if we check the output of the previous command if we check the exit status of the previous command not the output we can see that it is one which denotes a failure the reason for that is as mentioned the user max uh, does not exist on the system and grep is unable to find the pattern uh, max in this particular file uh, slash etc password now let's see how we can use these exit statuses uh, to chain commands together the first one we look at is the or operator and we can display a message to the user the user does not exist and if we were to run this we can see that the output of echo uh, is displayed that means the right hand side of or gets executed only when the left hand side or the command to the left of the or symbol uh, fails with a non-zero status that is the command failed to do what it was supposed to do and that's the only time when or will let the right hand side to execute now let's look at and if we were to run this we do not see the output now the reason for that is and will allow the command to the right hand side to execute only if the command on the left side exited successfully that is exited with a status of zero so let's try and make uh, grep uh, be successful by searching for a user that exists on the system and change the message appropriately now here we can see that grep is successful in finding the pattern inside the file and that means this command executed and exited with a zero status and that's the reason why and allows the command to the right hand side to execute and we can see the output of echo so that's the two chaining operators